First I'll solve the problem on the left. It's a little bit less complicated. Then I will solve the one on the right. And um, looking at this, we have two different denominators. Whenever you're trying to add or subtract fractions, you have to have common denominators because you're going to keep the denominators. Okay. Um, so with 10 and 5, the common denominator is 10. This denominator is already a 10, so I didn't change anything. I just bring down the 3 and the negative sign. Um, this positive sign can come down. Uh, but I, I changed from 5 to 10. In math, you're never allowed to just change things unless you do so in a way that's balanced, which means you're only changing the way it looks, not its actual value. So to get from 5 to 10, I multiply by 2. And to keep it balanced, I do the same thing to the numerator. 1 times 2 is 2. And the point about balanced, I think you could see 1 fifth is the same as 2 tenths. It just looks different. OK, now that you have common denominators, you can add or subtract. The signs are different. You subtract, keep the sign of the larger. So you end up with a negative one-tenth. Now we'll address the problem on the left. Um, first off, I don't like two signs in front of a number. So I use the rules of multiplication to change this to one sign. Positive times a negative is a negative. And <clears throat> If you don't like doing this, you would have just said the signs are the same and you would be looking to add, okay? Uh, I just don't really like that approach. I don't like, to me this is cluttered. Um, all right, so I'll bring everything else down that I can. This is the fraction bar. The fraction bar, our common denominator is going to be 20. Let's get another color in here for 20. All right, so now we have our common denominators looking at us. This was already a 20, so I didn't change anything. I just keep the numerator as it was. Um, over here, we went from 5 to 20. And again, you have to do so in a way that's balanced. So to get from 5 to 20, you multiply by 4. You can't really see that. Um, I'll write you multiplied by 4, so that means you have to do the same to the numerator. You multiply by 4. Let's see if I can't clean this up real quick. It's harder to see what the heck I'm doing. Well, it's never simple. <laughs> OK. Anyway, all I want to show is that I multiplied by a 4. They're going to make me really work to do this one. All right. <clears throat> and let's see. Um, so 5 times 4 is 20. 3 times 4 is 12. And now at this point, you have your common denominator, so your denominator is going to be 20. And the signs are the same, so you add and keep the sign. So it'll be negative 19. 